What's up guys and good morning. It is not a beautiful day today. It's been beautiful for probably like the past week. It's been warm and sunny and clear skies and guess what? Most of the snow on our property has melted. Like there's, there's still a lot of snow across the street for whatever reason, but our property, most of the snow has melted. Even a lot of the mud has dried up and turned into hard dirt. And it's really exciting because we're really sick of the mud, but guess what? It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Actually, we're under a winter weather advisory. Yeah. Which means snow. So down in the valley, it's supposed to rain for like the next 24 hours. And up here, that usually means a little bit of snow, but we're like late enough into the season that that little bit of snow should like melt the next day type thing, so. That's kind of what we're hoping for. We're uh, getting ready to head down to Mountain Made Vans because we're doing Mountain Made Mondays. We've got some errands to run. And also, now that it's getting closer to summer, when we let the dogs out in the morning, they're gone. Like they, I don't know if they're chasing pot guts or if they just like have a bunch of smells or there's more critters out or whatever, but they just like take off. So now we're in a hurry, we need to leave, and I can't find the dogs, so off to a great start. But. We're not gonna let it keep us down. We're gonna have a great day today. Well, we are at a place that is very exciting. It is Zion Upholstery. So these are the guys that are making the cushions for Pamela Vanderson 2.0. Really excited to see how these turned out. Got buried underneath something else. Oh, perfect. There you go. Awesome. You are all set. Those look great. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not gonna take these out of the plastic or do anything like that, but we're heading to the shop right now. We're having a team huddle with all the Mountain Made Vans guys. We have the cushions, which are basically one of the last pieces of the puzzle for Pamela Vanderson 2.0. And we have some really exciting news for these guys too. Two ham breakfast burritos with sour cream, and then one ham breakfast burrito with no sour cream. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, how are you? Good, good. It already looks so clean, even though it's just empty. <laughs> Should we talk to Bryce? Um, yeah, I, I sent him a message Saturday and he sent me a photo. He was at the grocery store and was in like one of the handicapped carts. <laughs> so. uh, Styling, bro. You're looking good, bro. And Anks have been working out. Dang, those triceps are, you like, uh, <laughs> well, the scratches are getting uh, swollen, yeah. son. Bryce yeah. had ACL surgery last week and uh, he's yeah. on his feet, he's moving around. He's uh, saying that he's ready to get back to work. And yeah, we're, he's here to, yeah. he's here to work, <laughs> ready to get back. He's here out. to work a full day right now. Yeah, we're trying to tell him to take tell. some time. <laughs> Go ahead, come sit down, get you some breakfast. If you need help with anything, let me know. You need me to wipe your butt or anything like that. <laughs> well, Bryce, I'm glad uh, you're on the up and up. It's gonna take maybe one or two more days for you to be fully recovered, but. Yeah, before mm. I start doing jumping jacks. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it some time. But in the meantime, you guys, we have really good news to share. What's this? We sold the van! Huh? Woo! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Perfect! Yay! That's, That's awesome. I know that these guys are more excited than they're acting like. The camera the camera does things to people when you say like, here, we're gonna film you, now let's see your reaction. Even when you're really excited, you go, yay. So we're all really, really pleased that Pamela Vanderson 2.0 has actually been sold. So if you're interested in her, I'm sorry, but she's no longer available because the woman that's buying her has already signed a purchase contract and made a deposit and she's gonna be coming out in a couple of weeks to pick up Pamela Vanderson 2.0. Pamela Vanderson 1.0, is still for sale. So if you guys are interested in her, it's basically gonna have like a completely renovated, almost brand new renovation. Um, the build out is gonna have all new components, new paint, everything's gonna be in tip top working order. So uh, Pamela Vanderson 1.0 has 60,000 miles, is a 2017 Ram ProMaster 3500 159 extended wheelbase, but she's gonna be ready to go too here soon. So if you're interested in her, you can email us about that, but uh, the emails for Pamela Vanderson 2.0 obviously will be greeted with a little uh, sorry she has been sold. So 
You know, the, the one good thing about Mountain Made Monday's team huddles is that it always comes with delicious food. And today we had breakfast burritos. All right, so we got you a fish burrito. Oh, cool. I don't know. It's a mystery fish. <laughs> okay. Probably just raw fish. I hope it's not raw fish. <laughs> Leo had a fresh bottle. I mean, the food is definitely the best part of my day. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> but I think we have a little bit more to talk about and uh, then we're gonna maybe get to work. So right now we're doing a little bit of projections for uh, the Sprinter, the 170. Even though we're gonna finish getting uh, Pamela Vanderson 1.0 churched up before it goes up for sale, we're uh, soon gonna be tackling the 170 over here and we have some really cool ideas and exciting things that we're gonna try and do in it, so. I love that we're all just starting to use Bryce's words. I was gonna words. say that. Thank you for using my slang. We're gonna church this up real nice. Who is it? Sodded. Who is it? What up, bro? Say what's up. Good morning to you, fella. That's smiling? Bryce. He's like, what is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hola. Hola, amigo. <laughs> so we had a really short window of opportunity where we could continue filming while Leo was still asleep and, and we missed it. So now we're gonna be filming with Leo. <laughs> he wants to be part of the party. He just wants to hang out. He had a really good nap, so he should be in a great mood. He looks pretty happy. Good. So I think now we're actually gonna unwrap the cushions and get them thrown up into Pamela Vanderson 2.0 and see how it looks. Also, Bryce has yet to see the inside of the van since it's been decorated. I know you guys saw it last time, but Bryce has been laying around with his leg in a cast because he had <laughs> surgery. So he's gonna get to take a look at it here in a second and we're gonna throw the cushions in. It was a very difficult debate trying to figure out how thick to make these cushions because the cushions we have in Pamela 1.0 were super thick and my feet didn't fully touch the floor. So these are a little bit thinner, but still hopefully just as comfortable and it'll allow for our angled knees to be perfectly 90 degrees and comfortable. Not Bryce's, unfortunately, but everybody hey. else's. <laughs> I'm gonna be the bottom of the jokes for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty these are. I like it. I'm just looks like a black square on I'm camera. I'm excited. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that! It looks so good! They do have matching overalls. <laughs> Matt, is that your baby? Now that he's crying, yeah. What's your mom's name? Nancy. Nancy! Nancy, are you ready to see Matt with his own baby? <laughs> I heard, Nancy, that you love watching Matt hold the baby, and we also love it when Matt holds the baby. He can borrow Leo anytime. <laughs> oh, but these are really comfortable. Oh, that was a good call going with this depth. This is perfect. Feels really, really nice. It's really nice. Oh, what do you think? Is it a van? Are we in a van? Do you want to live in a van? We need an only eleven uh, handicap lift. Like yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's weird. We're gonna try not to make it happen. <laughs> I can do it on my feet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Who built this van? <laughs> not too bad. I like it. Good. Did you guys spend the night in here last night? No. It's it's a virgin camper. The virgin <laughs> camper. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing, it's amazing. Look at it. Would you look at it? Trent, look at it. Just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. I mean, for two guys who didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> For sure the most exciting part of today is that we're actually getting so much closer to securing materials to build the garage. When we started to build our house, everything was back ordered and triple the price and just kind of a mess and really chaotic. We had to kind of piecemeal supplies and uh, it just took a very, very long time. We never really got organized. We just like started to build things as they showed up. And we're trying to be a lot more organized this time, especially because we have the experience now. We know kind of the order of operations of what it will take to build the garage. The garage is a lot simpler. 
Um, it's about the same footprint as the house, but we have a little bit more knowledge going into it this time. And I think things are a little bit less crazy. We're actually at a place called the Truss Plant where they build trusses. That's all they do. And we are ordering uh, our trusses to be built. They have to come and measure the width and the depth of our foundation of the garage so that they can actually make the trusses beautifully, specifically, exquisitely made to fit our garage. So that's a huge, huge weight off our shoulders because it's taken a couple different companies that we've had to work through until we found this company that was able to make what we needed. Um, our lumber kit, I think, is the next big thing that we have to order. Hopefully there's nothing in there that is super back ordered, but things are slowly coming together, Leo. And uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna start making moves on the garage. Probably not today or tomorrow because I think it's supposed to rain slash snow, but uh, in the next video, we're gonna take down the shelter logic and then hopefully these guys can come up and measure and hopefully they can get us our trusses by the time we're done building the walls. They said it could be like 15 weeks out, which sounds atrocious, so hopefully it doesn't take that long. All right guys, it is the end of the day. We have been working hard all day long and we finally got home and Leo is finally asleep. So we have a little bit of time to ourselves. We're gonna be having a little bit of a date night tonight. I'm making dinner tonight and I've got my sidekick on deck. Probably my most favorite thing to make ever is meat from ButcherBox. And ButcherBox is the sponsor of today's video. ButcherBox believes in better. They deliver 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild-caught seafood directly to your door, all for an unbeatable value. I've always liked making steak, but usually I would never go for the filet mignon because it's really expensive, but with the butcher box, it makes it super affordable and we always get them in our box. So I love making filets. It's probably my go-to steak nowadays. They take the guesswork out of shopping to ensure high quality meat that is better for your family, sourced directly from farmers with high standards for animal welfare and sustainable farming. And dinner is served, my love. Wow. If you haven't tried Butcher Box, now is the time to try it. They're actually having a flash sale with Wings for Life, where new members will get three pounds of organic chicken wings for free in every Butcher Box for the lifetime of your membership. And with our code, you'll actually get an additional $10 off. So click our link in the description, check them out. Thanks again to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's video. We are gonna dig in. We'll see you in the morning. What's up guys and good morning. Now I know yesterday and the past few days it had really felt like summer. It was like warm, the roads were dry, everything was like blooming, the birds were chirping, the pot guts were running around and uh, yesterday it rained and like last night it rained so hard and the winds were blowing so hard I contemplated the structural integrity of our house. It was like really, really gnarly. So I like, was like, man, when we get up in the morning, it's gonna be so muddy. Like there's gonna be ruts in the road. Our driveway is gonna get destroyed. We're gonna have to wear boots to go outside. And uh, we woke up to this. It's no longer summer. Back to winter. There's probably a solid two inches of snow on the deck and it's still snowing. This is less than ideal. It's not really the uh, situation that I was hoping to wake up to, especially because until this rainstorm came in, we were supposed to take down the shelter logic today. So hopefully the snow melts tomorrow and then uh, the day after that, we can take the shelter logic down. Got my fingers crossed. I think it's supposed to warm up, but it snowed a lot or it's snowing right now. Not impressed. All right, well, we have, uh, Got a little bit of time now this morning. We were gonna jump on a business call, but I think it's been postponed. So hopefully that's gonna take place a little bit later and we will take a break when that does come up. Today, we're going to be trying to finish these wardrobes or at least getting them finished enough that we can take them upstairs and maybe mock them up in place or get them installed. Does that mean I need to clean upstairs? Figuratively, I don't know. yes. Yeah, right? probably. <laughs> I clean, no, but move all the stuff away from the wall, yes. So there is some stuff that needs to happen upstairs cool. and Brandon and I will probably end up doing it. But 
These wardrobes need to be painted on the outside. So these outside panels here where we primed them, we're gonna paint those outsides and then also all of the shelves that are gonna go on the outside of the wardrobes in between the wall and the wardrobe, those all need to be primed and painted. So we have got our work cut out for us today. I Hopefully we have enough primer left. We like spilled some primer and then the plywood like absorbed so much primer that like I feel like the primer's almost gone, so I'm hoping that we don't need to like go get another can of primer just to like finish doing those shelves. But priming those, painting the uh, wardrobes, and then painting the shelves, probably a full day worth of work here. And then hopefully we can at least carry the wardrobes upstairs and get them mocked up in place. Maybe we can start putting our clothes in them, even though they're not like done or even close yeah. to ready for that. I'm excited. This is cool. Yay. Before we get started with anything for today, uh, we have been out running around all over the valley the past couple days, so the house is a disaster. So really quick, I'm going to try to clean this place up. Much better. One of the biggest things that I miss about living in a van is how quickly you can both make a disaster but also clean it up so seamlessly. Like within 20 minutes, the entire house can be fully cleaned and ready to host, basically. And living in an actual house is a little bit different, and that's another reason I am still really happy that we have a house this size. If we had a house any bigger, it would just take longer to clean, and we would just have more space to fill it with stuff. People are always asking us why we didn't build a bigger house, and it might not look like enough space to many of you, but it's the perfect amount of space for us. Right, Trent? Is this house the perfect amount of space for us or what? Yeah, we don't have any extra space. <laughs> we made our bed. We have to lay in it. Yeah. Are you happy, boy? We're not getting much work done. <laughs> Brandon's drilling some pocket holes in the shelves that we're gonna be uh, priming and painting, and I'm in here entertaining this little boy. Hello. Are you excited for the day? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. super tired and I think we've hit the overtired stage where he wants to take a nap so bad. It's like noon and he hasn't slept yet so he's really cranky and when he's overtired it's even harder to get him to fall asleep so we're taking it slow and giving him bottles and hoping that he'll just relax and take a nap at some point because he wants to whether he realizes it or not. So Brandon and I were just having a little discussion. We were talking about the Baby Shark song. If you guys know the Baby Shark song, you know how crazy it can drive people. So I'm not even gonna start singing it, but Brandon and I were just discussing if that was the worst song ever or if the song that never ends is the worst song ever because I think they both never end and they're both very entertaining to children and very like loathed by many adults. So let me know in the comments if you guys think the song that never ends is more annoying or if you guys think that Baby Shark is more annoying. We're gonna back to painting. That's a weird color, right? It's a little weird. It's like a weird violet Easter egg or something. It might darken up when you stir it though. Okay. <laughs> I picked this, she picked that. These do not go together. This was supposed to be a light gray. It's blue. But you know, a little splash of color. It smells like pears, dude. They put some pear stuff in here, I swear. It literally smells like canned pears. You open up canned pears and they have like the juice and the big pears and you like dump them out in 
I used to love them when I was a little kid. It's exactly what this smells like to me. Some it might just smell like paint. But to me, it smells like pears. <laughs> Trent and Brandon have been working on painting the beginnings of the cabinets. Leo and I have been hanging out in the kitchen trying to stay away from the fumes and all the paint smells. We've got uh, some delicious chocolate chip banana bread, muffins baking in the oven that are about to come out, and uh, Leo still has not napped for the day, which is now slowly becoming the only part of my day. The temperature is still really cold outside, but things are heating up in here. We are getting things accomplished. We got basically two coats of paint on the sides of the wardrobes. The insides are stained and finished. We got a coat of primer on both sides of every single shelf, all 14 of them. Now we're gonna start putting coats of paint on the shelves and hopefully, you know, in like two coats on each side of each shelf, we'll be done. And hopefully that's before the end of the day. And we're probably not taking these upstairs to get them installed today, but at least they'll be completely painted and they can kind of air out and dry down here. Asking yourselves, why don't we spray these cabinets instead of rolling all of the paint on? It's a really great question and I would actually love to spray these because then you get a nice even coat, you don't have to roll, it's just like awesome, but we don't really have a place to do it. Our sprayer has like a 50 foot hose on it, so then we have to like put all the paint through the hose before we even get any paint out. Then when you're done, you have to clean all the paint out. It just, it's really, really involved. I would love to do it. If we had a paint booth here, I would totally do it, but we're, uh, we're just stuck with rolling it on. But I'm happy with this. We've got our first coat on one side of the shelves. Once this dries, do the other side. Repeat that process on both sides one more time, and then they'll be ready to sit for however long until we can get back to this project. Oh my goodness. It's the daddy touch. Ah, don't speak too soon. <laughs> Leo's having a rough day, guys. It's now, what, like two in the afternoon? Almost two o'clock, still hasn't napped even once. So uh, he's feeling it, he's hurting, and we're trying to tell him he would feel great after a nap. He keeps trying to tell us that is not the case. So in the meantime, the cabinets are coming along beautifully, and I'm really excited that the muffins have also come out beautifully. Ooh, when was the last time I made these? I think you tried to make them in the van once. Once, maybe, but they're definitely like a pre-van life baked good. They're uh, trying to win Trent over ah. performances. Uh, when Allie and I were first dating, she would always make these and amazing chocolate chip cookies. And I was like, that's it. This is my wife. I'm, I found it. Little did I know that I would not see these again for four or five years. <laughs> it's really good. You want some? <laughs> you can't have the one that's in my mouth. <laughs> How are they? They're really, really good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Amazing. Good. These are kind of my specialty. Banana chocolate chip muffins and I go way back. Mm. It's a little bit different than the bottle. Yummy, yummy. Especially uh, not different in the fact that I don't want to share it with you. <laughs> How are the cabinets looking? Yeah, can I look? You want to give me the tour? Here we go, ready? Oh, the big reveal. Woo, leave the come on. Wow. I know it's so bad for you, but I love the smell of fresh paint. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that good for you at all. Like. Looks good. What do we think of the color? I, I don't have an opinion. <laughs> I think it's an Easter egg color. Mmm, interesting. Lavender Easter egg hunt. I think it's a mix between Pamela Vanderson's. Oh, okay, interesting. Pamela 1.0 and 2.0. Yeah, mixed together. That's funny. It's hard because I always want to go really dark and bold with colors, and Trent is always a little bit nervous about going too dark and bold. But I've had really good experiences with going dark, even if it seems like it'll make a space look smaller. For example, in here, this color is really bold and really dark, and I love it but we were a little concerned that a dark color all across the wall of our bedroom would make the room feel a lot smaller. So we went a little bit lighter. It's a little lighter than I would have liked, but I think it will look really good in the end. You're like a little walrus. <gasps> I am the walrus. Do you know that song? Huh? 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice burp. <laughs> what flavor are we working with? These yeah, are. Tell us. Oh, okay, you tell us. Oh, a guessing game. Yeah. yeah raspberry, pumpernickel, raisin, loaf. No. No, it's not. <laughs> I need another bite. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess that it's banana, just because there's little black flakes in here. You got it. Banana chocolate chip muffin. Oh, yeah. Pretty dang good. Good. This is how I got Trent to marry me. These muffins. Probably would have worked on me. <laughs> Are you doing jujitsu? Armbar. Grab on, Arm bar. Grab on to it. Lock both hands on the wrist. <laughs> and place one heel on the neck and one on the chest. Come on. Yeah. I got the tramp <laughs> Howdy, partner. You want to have a draw? <laughs> Five steps back. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just uh, finished doing our second coat of paint on all of the shelves. This already has its second coat of paint. This has its second coat of paint. Basically, painting is done for the day. Wow, cool. Yeah, we've just got to get this organized so that we can live in here. <laughs> And hopefully the paint doesn't stink as long as the stain stunk. Mm. Stain is a stunky stinker. <laughs> stain stinks for a really long time. <laughs> paint, not so much. So I think probably like in a day, this room will be totally fine, but it literally took like three or four days for the stain to like air out and not be like deadly in here. But I think we're probably gonna start cleaning everything up for the day. I gotta make a few phone calls. And then hopefully I'm going to pick up the Forerunner because the Forerunner has been getting some, you know, some uh, modifications done. These guys are taking way too long. It was supposed to take one or two days. It's taken like seven days. Hopefully it's done today. So we'll find out later. Well, it's been quite the day. We did get all of this stuff painted. These two pieces here are actually gonna be our toe kick. And so I've uh, painted those. They're gonna be cut down to length and installed. In the next video, when we actually set our wardrobes up on the toe kicks and get all of the like floating shelf things on the side installed. Really excited to be moving forward on this project. I do realize that like it's been a while. It's been like probably at least a week that we've been working on this and we've made like what looks to be basically no progress. So it's gonna be a little bit while longer. So I think by the time we get those wardrobes installed, we still gotta build the face frames, we gotta hang the rods, we gotta build all the drawers, we gotta build the doors, we gotta build the center section that's gonna have two banks of drawers. There's just, there's gonna be a lot going into it and it's gonna take a while to finish it, but it's probably like the biggest after project of the house. I think and it's one uh, of the last big after projects and then the house like might basically be finished. Yeah, just like decorations a little bit more and yeah. uh, the basement. The basement yeah. still needs to be finished. Yeah, that's a big one. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. And before we finish the wardrobe, we're going to have to start working on the shelter logic. So it's like, <laughs> it's just going to take a really long time. That's funny. We're okay with that. That's I don't know if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Say bye, Leo. Bye-bye. <laughs>